So now let's see how we can work with the move tool inside of Snagit Editor. So over here you can see that I have some um, screenshots right here that we have worked in previous lessons as well. So if I were to go to move tool right here, I can move around uh, these elements right over here as you can see. So that is not much of a big deal. You can go over here onto the side just like this and then choose around any object right here and then move them around just like that. But over here, what you can do with move tool is enable the smart move option. So if I were to go over here, none of the elements right here is movable. That if you were to turn on the smart move option, what happens is it'll detect out different elements that you can move. So now all of these things become draggable as you can see right here. So you can move out individual elements right over here, just like that, drag that out and individual elements are draggable out of the screenshot. So you can drag it around just like that and you can see that even it fills up uh, just like that. You can increase the level of detail right here just like that. So it identifies tiny level of detail that it can move up. So you can uh, work around with the intensity. So you can move this around as well as you can see just like that. So you can do this with a lot of things right here just like this. So let me just go on to the library right here to find out a screenshot that I have for my YouTube channel. So let me just open this up. So I'm going to enable the smart move right over here. So it'll identify the movable object. The tolerance level is 73. So I can just go around and move this out as you can see right here. Although it is not perfect, you can just move that thing around right over there. You can move this thing around right here just like that and it just fills up. So you want to replace something right here, change out anything just like this. You can see that it's easy to go around and move out different elements just like that from uh, your screenshot right there, which makes it much more easy to manage out your screenshots and then give it a completely entirely new look just like that, as you can see. And that is how you can use the move and the smart move tool inside of Snagit Editor. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.